and welcome to the Saskatoon Public Library Festive Fridays and we're really glad to welcome you here on Treaty 6 land and the traditional homeland of the Métis. I'm Kathy and this is Dawn. Hi everyone, I'm so happy to be here with Kathy today to make a special treat with you. It's so much more fun making things with a friend. As you can see, we're both wearing our masks because sometimes when you do things with a friend, especially in a public building, you still have to wear your masks today. So that's what we're doing while we make our snow ice cream. And we have lots of snow in Saskatoon these days. Luckily, some fresh snow fell last night. So Kathy and I don't have to worry about eating twigs and leaves in our <laughs> ice cream. Also, maybe it wouldn't hurt us to have a little more fiber. <laughs> Maybe, but maybe not like this. <laughs> not like that, okay. So as you can tell, this snow ice cream is really going to be made with snow. And when we were looking up fun things to do with snow, we found a couple of different ways and recipes that you can make snow ice cream. So Dawn and I thought that we would show you both ways so that you could decide what ingredients you have at home and what you might like to try, or maybe eventually through the winter, you might try both. It sounds like it's a delicious treat. I don't think either of us have tried this yet. Never. So you're here for the first time that we've ever tried this. And hopefully you make it this winter and you share your recipes with us. We'd like to know how you made your ice cream. Okay. All right, sounds good. So I'm gonna start showing you the mix first for mine and then Dawn's gonna make the mixture for hers that blends with the ice, the snow to make the snow ice cream. So in the recipe I saw, it said to use what's called condensed milk, which is a really thick milk that comes in a can and it's a little bit sweetened. So you don't have to add any sugar to this. I didn't think about that. But what they did suggest you could do, if you wanted, this might be the time, if you wanted to try adding other flavors. I'm going to make this just a vanilla. So they said to add a little vanilla flavor. So I brought some vanilla and this is a tablespoon, so I'm not going to fill it. I'm just going to add about half, which is about a teaspoon. And I'm going to stir it into the condensed milk and just make a nice vanilla mixture. So we'll get a nice vanilla ice cream. And of course, once we make the ice cream, you could put all kinds of toppings and things on it. But let's say if you didn't want to do a vanilla ice cream, maybe you could add chocolate sauce. Or I think Dawn had a great idea that she brought to either put on the top of hers or mix into hers. So that's as simple as that. I don't know how much simpler it could get. Once Dawn has her mixture ready, then we're gonna get the snow and add it to our bowls and mix our mixtures in and see how they turn out. Okay, my recipe actually called for milk, but I like ice cream that's a little bit richer. So you can use milk or if you have, I'm using cream today. So I'm going to use a half a cup of cream. I'm gonna pour mine into my big bowl right away. And my recipe calls for sugar. So I'm going to use a sixth of a cup of sugar. And then just a little bit of vanilla. And also just a little bit of salt. I just put just a few little grains of salt into my spoon here. And I brought strawberries today. My family went strawberry picking this summer and we froze some strawberry syrup. So I'm going to add a little bit of that today. Mm. So I have strawberry ice cream. Oh, that sounds so good. I know, the taste of summer in the winter. And then I'm just gonna stir this all up and prepare for adding the snow. Mm. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful pink strawberry color. I bet, that'll be, I bet that'll be pretty mm. mixed into the snow. Even through my mask, it smells good. All right, let's get the snow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Last night we had fresh snow falling and so I put a bucket on the middle of my deck far away from any trees with a bag inside of it so Kathy and I would have hopefully very clean snow for our ice cream. It actually looks like really good snow so I think we'll have some yummy ice cream. Now Dawn and I are going to do it two different ways. We're both going to add the snow to our bowls and most of the recipes that I read said eight cups of snow. I'm going to go with the full eight cups because I'm using the full amount of the recipe. I'm not sure if Dawn used the full amount of the recipe because we talked about the idea you could go half. I am doing a half recipe so I'm only using four cups of snow. Perfect. 
So you could decide at home how much you'd like to have or how much you want to make and try it different ways like we are. So I'm going to put the snow in the bowl and I'm going to pour my mixture over top and stir it in. And I already have my mixture in the bowl, so I'm going to add the snow to my mixture and then stir it in. And we'll see which one works best or if they both work equally the same. Yeah. Who knows? And you could try that at home. Find out what works best for you. All right, here we go, yeah. adding our snow. This is kind of fun, actually. I know. I'm, I'm super excited to see how this is going to turn out. Me too. It's fast. Mm-hmm. And I don't have an ice cream maker at home, do you? No, I don't so, have anything like that either. There would be no other way for me to make ice cream. Okay. I think I have close to four cups. That's, I think mine's about eight. Try it. I look like I have double yours. Yeah, about that. Yeah, that's quite a bit, actually. I'm surprised Ooh. how much. I'm curious once. Oh, yours is mixing look in. Look at so that. Uh, oh, look how pretty. Yours is turning pink. It's looking awesome. And it's getting, like, really thick, actually. Now, the vanilla made mine look sort of caramely, but it will taste vanilla-y when we're done. So Ooh. I'm mixing it in. It actually gets quite a bit smaller, doesn't it? Why? Caramel would be delicious in there. Do you know what this makes me think of? There's a Korean dessert that's made with mm. shaved ice, where they pour Ooh. condensed milk or flavored milks on it. Yeah. So it would probably be very similar to something like that. It does look delicious. Doesn't Yours it? Yours is getting super thick too. Mine's getting quite thick as I mix it in. This looks great. Hmm. This looks better than the snow outside. I know, I'm really excited when we get to taste this. All right. Okay. I think it might be ready to scoop into our bowls. I think so. I'm now, if, I don't know if you can see that, but that's, it turned kind of like in little chunks. Mm -hmm. If I squish mine, it will stick together mm -hmm. like an ice cream scoop. You could probably fit it into a mold. Like if it tastes really good, I don't know how yeah. well it would keep. If you could put it in a mold and push it down. Oh, that would be cute. And then keep it for later. Yeah. For now, I'm just going to try filling up my bowl. It stays quite just firm. A little melty. Ooh, I'm making a bit oh, mess. is yours melting? See, mine's still quite firm. Just the edge of it was starting to melt. Hmm. But maybe it was just stuff that didn't get as much snow mixed in. Mm-hmm. That could be. All right. I have some sprinkles just because when I was looking at the recipe, they showed sprinkles on it. And I mm. thought that looked fun. So I was wondering about adding candy cane. <gasps> oh, that would uh -huh. be so nice for a holiday treat to put a little candy cane on it or instead of uh, sweetened condensed milk or milk or cream to use eggnog if you're an eggnog person eggnog could be a really yeah. interesting thing to try we put eggnog in our pancakes so Ooh. and it's really yummy yeah that would be good all right i'm gonna put some sprinkles on mine oh, dawn nice. would you like a little sprinkle totally. on yours yep everything's better with sprinkles oh sprinkles are going everywhere <laughs> They're so pretty. Doesn't that look yummy? It looks delicious. We can't eat this in front of you because we need to take our masks off and we're too close. So we're going to take a break and go to separate rooms and eat our ice cream. But we'll leave it with you to try it and let us know what you think. I hope you have fun trying some snow ice cream this winter. Enjoy.